hey guys hope you all are doing great in today's video i'm going to teach you string and date functions okay let's dive right away into the topic so i have this new data set with just four rows here so again we have the student id then there is a column called a student details which has the name of the subject followed by hyphen the code of the subject and the gender of the person then of course the name of the student okay so we have three columns but the student details by itself has three sub values the subject the code and the gender okay now we are going to understand how to use the certain uh, string functions okay first up say i want to find the length of this you know student detail column in each case right you could do it straight away very easily so of course i will just select the star in every case so that you see the table also on the side and then i will just type length of whatever the name of that column so length of student details for example okay just run it and you see the length is it's giving 14 so basically this full length is 14 which makes sense max is five letters hyphen is one letter one and that makes it six then one two three is three more that makes it nine then one more hyphen ten then male is four so 14 so the total length of the string is given by this length function okay first string you first thing you need to know next comes the left right and mid functions okay so left function is starting from the left hand side if you want to show only a certain number of letters you can use that so let me for example say i'll select star and say i want to just see the first two letters of the column name for example what i would do is i would just say left of the name of that column and then i can put how many ever characters i want if i select two okay i have to select the table just forgot that okay substring data okay all right so as you see here we get the first two letters aj here we get sn and uh, nishant we get ni there is a reason why we are not getting anything for anisha there is actually two spaces before the a i will explain you how to remove that in an upcoming function there are two spaces before the a that is why we are not getting anything for the left value for this particular row okay but others as you see the first letters we are getting okay similarly we could do the right of name comma two as well by doing this what will happen is we will get the two letters but from the right side right so for ajay the two letters from the right side are a and y which makes sense for anisha it's ha for sneha again we are not getting because i have purposely left two spaces after the a here so again i will show you another function called trim where we will remove these spaces then you will understand why you know we are not getting anything for right and nishant again last two letters th so we are getting it it makes sense similarly if i want to select this you know somewhere in the middle i could type mid function i would say name the name of the column then the starting position from where do i want to you know output if I select the second letter, for example, and then the number of characters, how much length I want. If I put three, let us run this and see what's happening. So what happens is, so from the second letter, I want three characters. So yes, from the second letter, which is J, three characters is J-A-Y. Again, here it's A-N because there is a space before, right? So we are getting only two characters. Sneha, yes, from the second letter, which is N, three characters so n he h which is what is coming and same with nisha second character is i from there three letters which is ish so we are getting that output right so left right and mid good use case like if you want to take something randomly from the middle of a already existing column we can use that so it's the syntax is the name of the column the starting position and then the number of characters right that's how left right and mid will work so that is done Next thing is concatenate. Say you wanted to combine two columns. Say you wanted to combine student ID and name, for example. We could do it using the concatenate. So I'll say select star and put a comma. I'll type concat. Concat is the name of the thing. And whichever columns you want to concatenate. So I'll just type student ID, comma, name. Comma, name of the table, which is .substring data. Okay. Now you see 
student id right student id and name got concatenated so one is student id name is ajay so we're getting one ajay to make it look a little more neater we could add some something else in the middle like i'll put an extra comma and i'll maybe put a hyphen in between so what we will get is student id followed by the hyphen then followed by the name okay now it looks just a little more neater so we get one ajay three sneha four nishan two but followed by a space and anisha because as you see the data has space before anisha can in the upcoming function i'll be showing you how to remove the space okay so this is powerful to combine two columns together concatenate now we'll come to trim as i was telling you say we have some extra spaces before a particular um, value in a column like before anisha there are some extra spaces we could use the trim function to remove those spaces so if i select star then i put a comma and then i say trim off whichever column i want to trim here i want to trim the column name and from uh, cricket or substring data right by doing this you will see now you get like the trim trim function make sure this you know blank space right before anisha is removed and it will remove spaces before the word and also after the word remember after sneha also there were some spaces even that is getting removed although we can't directly see it here because you know it's after the word but the trim will do that it will remove spaces before and after the word in the case of anisha it's perfectly visible because the blank space before the a has been removed when we use the trim function trim is like removing spaces at the beginning at the end of the word okay then there is upper and lower so if i just do select star then i you know i want to do upper of the name column and also i want to do the lower of the name column from uh, this table right cricket or substring data you see so what happens upper everything gets capitalized right whatever is there all the letters become capital letters and in lower all the letters become small letters right as simple as that right another use case for uh, you know making everything capitalized or everything you know not capitalized right based on whether we use upper or lower okay then next function is pretty interesting i would say one of the most interesting in today's video it is called as locate okay so say you know we have a column here with multiple hyphens and actually multiple sub values right say i wanted to locate the first hyphen right the position of the first hyphen we could use the locate function and do it in sql so what i will do is first select star then i also want to select the locate function so i will do locate of <coughs> syntax goes like this i start with the column name student details okay so actually before that we need to find which value we need to search for so i will put the hyphen because we want to locate the hyphen so first argument is what do we want to search for second argument is the name of the column just went away let me type it again the third column is from where do you want to start searching i want to start searching from the first position itself so i will do this so when i run this you get six what does six mean here so you if you see this particular value hyphen is coming in the sixth position right so maths is five and hyphen comes in sixth position similarly here physics is seven letters so hyphen is coming in the eighth position so by using the locate function we are locating the occurrence of the first hyphen right the position of the first hyphen this is super powerful as you will see in the next function how this can be leveraged so now we know this place where the first hyphen occurs in each of these values right now say i want to output just the name of the subjects right so basically here i want to show just max physics chemistry and english we could leverage locate function and combine with another function which is called as substring to actually get that output okay so i'll show you how it works so select star as usual then what we can do is so substring okay that's the function name so first you type the name of the column in which you want to find this so output the substring then the second is the starting position so starting position obviously one right third is the number of characters or till where you want to show 
the substring. Here, what we know is we, for example, for this first case, we want to show it till position number five, right? Because sixth position, the hyphen comes. I want to show only the name of the subject. So which is till position number five, which is basically one position before six, right? So how we can show that in SQLS? So we will take the same formula from the previous calculation. So this will give us a value six, right? And you just subtract a one from there. So it's saying find the first hyphen and then subtract one from that. And then output the substring from the beginning till that position. Okay. So I will just do that minus one and then put a from <coughs> and I'll check the table. Okay. So now when I run this, you will see. So what's happening is so we get max physics chemistry English. Just to recap a little bit. One second. So what's happening here is basically. So substring works like this. So first argument is the name of the column, which is student ETS. Second is the starting position. We want to output from position number one. Then this is to say till what position. So what we are doing is we are first finding the first hyphen, which is position six, as we saw for the first row. And then we are subtracting a one, which will say, hey, SQL, please go to this column, find hyphen, then show the values from position number one to position number five, right? Which is basically this this value will be six minus one which is five so position one to position five is nothing but maths which is getting outputted and it uses the same logic for each so here what it will do is it will find position number eight then it shows output from position number one to seven right that is the power of the locate function so this value will get adapted according to the row right that is the biggest power of the substring plus locate combination very powerful use case again okay so this is about string functions. Let us learn a few date functions as well, okay? So I have another small database, which I think we've used in the first few videos as well, okay? So here, as you see, I have a column called as date ordered, right? So say I wanted to see only the year and the month of the date ordered, okay? So we could use this function called as date format and we will play around and see the various use cases of that. Okay. So it's very simple. You just put date format, date underscore format, then name of the column, which is date order. And then within single quotes, you put whatever format you want. Say I would put percentage Y percentage M here, right? If I run this, see what's happening. What's happening is so percentage Y shows us the year, which is 2019 which is correct. And then percentage small m shows the month 03 because this date is 2019 March, right? 03 is the name of the month. If I change this small m to capital M, then I will see instead of the 03, I will see the name of the month. Third month is March, which makes sense, right? Similarly, if I want to see the week, I could put a capital U and you will see. So basically, this 17th March 2019 is actually in the 11th week of the year. So we are getting the year 2019, which is the percentage Y. Percentage U is the name of the week, which is 11, right? <coughs> and one more thing we could do is if I say percentage Y, percentage small m, percentage small d, also want to see the date. Then we get the clean format. So 2019 is the year, 03 is the month, 17 is the date, which is the same as year. So that way, you know, it's a cool way to, you know, use uh, the date format function to display the date in the format that you want. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. If you like this video, do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. I will see you again in another video. With this, actually, we are done with the 10 basic topics of SQL. Coming up will be some slightly intermediate and advanced topics and also some projects which you can work on to practice our previous topics. Okay. See you soon. Till then, take care. Bye.